always smoking never choking but continuously token tune back in for another one of them bangers by adam calhoun and yes i'm still sitting here with my dog who will not get off the couch to give me my spot back do you even care he closed his eyes he doesn't even care he ain't even trying to care anyways <laughs> let's jump in this man this is called this lady lost her mind and I'm curious to see what he's talking about. So let's just go ahead and just jump into this, man. Let's go ahead and get that screen recording here in a second. Oh, I didn't even set that part up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go. Two, one, two, click, click, click. All right, screen recorded. Uh, full screen right there. And let's jump into this, man. We got Adam Calhoun with this lady. Lost her mind. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's go. Hi, friends. I'm ready to go party. Bro, wait, what the? Okay. <laughs> that, that caught me all off guard. I mean, I saw the thumbnail. <laughs> But the, the, this whole hi friends nonsense that he keeps doing with every video like this is his public service announcements are getting a little weird. I'm just saying, <laughs> getting a little weird, Adam. Getting a little weird. Why you got draws on your head, bruh? Like, oh lord. Okay, let's go. Boy, and I got toilet paper. All right, check this shit out. Right, <laughs> first of all, this is well, that's Mike Tyson. <laughs> but this is america i live 25 miles south of chicago and the mayor of chicago is going crazy because well people are pissed off and don't want to sit in their houses anymore okay do i think 150 200 people should be slammed in the basement sweating their asses off and banging strippers and doing drugs and partying and drinking and going crazy yeah i mean maybe oh, my. oh yeah i was gonna say it's not that bad I haven't been cooped up. I've been out here fucking hot moms with my pee pee. And we all want to go outside and gather in groups. We all want to go get, get gather. Yeah, we, we all want to go have a fucking orgy right now. We really just want to live <laughs> as free Americans, like the Constitution says, and then die also as free Americans. This is fucking America. We have spent six <laughs> weeks working and sacrificing to halt the spread of this disease and save lives. Save lives? How about stop lies? How about tell the fucking truth? You and the media are shutting the whole country down. You all are lying and causing panic. You want to talk about deaths? How about the deaths every year from abortion, cancer, heart attacks, and so forth? Today or tomorrow, we're going to talk Good boy, a right? thousand deaths in our city. Think about that. Yeah, you know, I just did think about that. A thousand deaths in Chicago from COVID. How about all the fucking the deaths shootings? from homicide? Right, I was just, I was thinking it's like Chicago though, like y'all have the highest murder rate for a long time. How about right. that shit? Should we stay inside? I can't make this any clearer. You absolutely must stay at home. No, no. China. Fuck China. This is <laughs> America. You ain't gonna just tell us, stay your ass at home and we're gonna be like, okay, no problem, that one, fuck you. You need to stay at your home. That's what this means. Hey guys. That's right. What's up, guys? Why aren't you at your home? What's your opinion about staying home, Austin? People that stay at home are fucking pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle, why are you at my house? We're cutting an album. The mayor said you're not allowed to, you have to stay at home. No, that's not a Christmas tree for the 400th fucking time. We put different decorations out for different holidays. Excuse me, Tommy. <laughs> why? Why are you not at your home? The mayor said you have to stay at your home. I'm building the wall. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Justin, <laughs> yeah. why aren't you at your home? Did you know the mayor said you're supposed to stay at your home, or you can get you can arrest you? They don't really know. You come and get it. Okay. This is America. This is essential business. Here. This is, is we're not closing down. I got people that work that I that fucking have family. The one thing I will say though, I wouldn't. The one thing I will say though. Is the way that everybody, I mean, aside from the little kitchen scene where there was, you know, like a whole family kind of sitting there at the at the counter with struggle, shout out to struggle. Uh, but everybody was like in their own separate areas doing their own separate things. And I think that's kind of like the understanding that every like uh, that I think we're all kind of taking is like if if I'm not home, I'm doing my job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I feel like every one of those people was there doing their job. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of feel like that was one of those situations where it's like, eh, you know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody's going to be mad at that. I don't, think, I don't think anyone's mad at that. You know what I'm saying? They were all like, for the most part, social distancing, doing their own thing, minding their own business. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> let's go. Let's finish this out, though. With your friends, call them. Nope. Wrong again. I'm going to go to their house. I'm going to watch 
the news and make fun of your Beetlejuice-looking head having ass, looking like someone ripped out <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg's dreadlocks and got a fucking fro. Um, someone come get Uncle Ben from the rice box. Oh, <laughs> bro. Somebody come get Uncle Ben from the rice box. Where all the 12-year-olds are dressed like prostitutes and shaking their asses like little fucking strippers. You see her face light up like TikTok, like she had a great idea. We will cite you. And if we need you, we will arrest you, and we will take you to jail. Don't make us treat you like a criminal. You are the fucking criminals. You lie, you take our money, and now you're trying to take our fucking freedom? Fuck you. Oh, wow, that was a little aggressive. F frick you, man, seriously. <laughs> they literally just cut the death toll in half in America. Hi, brains. <laughs> That's what that it was. Doesn't matter. You can have congestive heart failure, heart attack. If you test positive... For COVID, Corona, whatever, they label that shit as a COVID-related death. I'm doing this one. I'm pissed off. My face is itchy. You guys are a bunch of assholes. You're trying to scare the fuck out of people. Keep them in their fucking houses. What you need to do is take your fucking kid, go outside, let them eat a whole bunch of fucking dirt, take the hose, shove it down his throat, drink him, drink that water, build his immune system, eat some fucking melted Legos or some shit. Fuck this. Bruh, the frustration it fucking <laughs> I'm just gonna say the frustration the frustration that Adam has, bro, right now. Like, yeah, I, I've said it. We're all going stir crazy. This whole house co quarantine nonsense is driving people nuts. You know what I'm saying? It's driving people nuts. The one thing I can say is like, you know, Adam is fortunate, kinda like how I am and you know, a bunch of other people that we know are where we all kind of work from home anyway. And you know what I'm saying? Like this kind of really just fucked up like our travel plans. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, really, we're not like, we're just kind of like, bro, like, why weren't y'all trying to build y'all's own? Like y'all over here worried about like, what are you like, well, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like this, like to me, this whole situation just really just showed how financially illiterate people were. You know what I'm saying? Um, it proved that most of these people did not have any sort of assets or, you know, things in place to protect themselves or they weren't even in the mindset of already trying to build that um you know that's the only reason why i didn't like necessarily panic necessarily because i was already in the process and i was like a year and a half deep trying to build my own businesses and building assets that are going to pay off in the long run that this is just a hurdle in that process for me you know what i'm saying i got startups dog startups are hard so this was nothing but all right cool we got all right cool we working you know what i'm saying it ain't stopping shit that i got going on so yeah, you know what I mean? It really just kind of fucked up my travel plans. I had I was supposed to go out and to, to fucking hang out with my dog, Adam, and shit. You know, I was supposed to have been out there last month. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to have been out there. Adam, hit me up, dog. We need to make that, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to call you, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit you up because we need to plan that again. You know what I'm saying? We need to get that, we need to get that you know, happening ASAP. You know what I'm saying? We got to make that happen ASAP. You know what I mean? But anyways, I love y'all. Yeah, just know me without you. I right, familiar wife. Hi. Slady lost her mind. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we all feel that about our politicians right now and our governors, governors and all, all these, you know what I'm saying? We we all feel that way.